All right, all right. We are on Triangle Strategy, episode five. It was a triangle strategy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right. No. Uh, my family was telling me, called me up and texted me and stuff like, hey man, be careful when you're on the road. Some people are like, with hydropedaling, spinning around, cars flipping, all that stuff. I'm just like, oh yeah, my woman already warning me. I don't need more people. Oh yeah, I mean, I was very careful the other day. One side was like flooded while I was driving, so I just like skirted off the other side and just like slowly drove. All right. Happens now. <clears throat> I got to remind to hit a Volvo. Fight us. Hmm. Oh, that one's a nice game changer. All right, folks. It is time. <clears throat> the battlefield is no place for children. I will have vengeance for my family. And for my master! Prepare to die! Empty threats from a pampered prince. You will see what true might is. All's in place, my lord. Ready when you are. Very good. Now, to lure them where we want them and initiate the device. You are aware of what will happen next, yes? Yes. And I am prepared to make the sacrifice. With me, everyone. Thermico. All companies, advance! Leave no survivors! I like how they show my outfit when I'm not prestiged. And then once things happen, then... Shows you new outfit. I'm the turtle. Appreciate chaos. <clears throat> Enemy reinforcements are past the outer wall. Follow General Aglara! Let no Wuffer car survive! The town is surrounded, and enemies flood in by the moment. I cannot bear the thought of sacrificing my people. Must I make a callous choice for the greater good? Yes. Aglara, mark my words. I will send you to the depths of hell by my own hand. Shall we begin? Make the most of it. Splendid. My turn. I will end this. Charge! 
Time to take flight. Come on, then. From where shall we strike? I see a path to victory. Whatever it takes. I fight for peace. Time for some research. Come at me, bitch. <clears throat> Let me heal your wounds. Face me if you dare. My turn. Defeat is not an option. The hunt is on. Feisty, aren't we? Let us pry out their weak. Face me if you dare. Strike while the iron's hot. Allow me. Now then, to work. Cool heads shall prevail. This shall be a boon. I will crush you. From where shall we strike? I see a path to victory. Time for some research. Time to take action. Allow me. I will crush you! Cool heads shall prevail. Victory goes to the foot. I'm going for it. Charge! From where shall we strike? Here I come. aren't we? My turn. I'll take it from here. Keep trying is the best way, my friend. You know what I mean and you know what it do. 
I shall try my level best. Stay composed. Our victory is assured. Now then, to work. I fight for peace. For the good of all. You won't get to me. Shall we begin? Victory goes to the cliff. I'll be of whatever service I can. My turn. Not yet. Forward. Not yet. Flee while you have the chance. Here I come. Another step. Now it's my turn. I'll take it from here. This is far from One. over. So it falls to me. Let us pry out their weakness. It is time for strike. Let me show you what I've learned. We strike. Death from above. Oh, I fucking miss. Fucking A. Leave everything to me. Here goes. Shall we begin? Your wounds are much obliged. The hunt is on. Take aim. Face me if you dare. Time to take action. Yeah, deal with that match cast in some way. <clears throat> Stay composed. One. My knowledge grows deeper. Not yet. <clears throat> Allow me.
Not totally yet. I shall protect you. So it falls. Did they just do ice on ice? Is that what just happened? What the fuck? Okay. Suck it. <clears throat> Defeat is not an option. Oh, the ice went down. I gotta block it. I have to block it with my bari. Death from above. Aha! That's a crit. For victory. <laughs> That guy can't move, so it's gonna be a tight fit for all of them. Actually, only one guy could commit. It's gonna be a lot of ice damage that goes out. I could wait. I could wait. But I also need to block. So I'm gonna block. I'm gonna wait. I will crush you. Come on then. Just gonna block. Cool heads shall prevail. They're trying to cut the ice. They don't want the ice, bro. The hunt is on. Yeah, fuck him, Take this. I'm out with buddy. You can be right here and just attack safely. Suffer. Suffer, bitch. This'll hurt. They don't want that eyes, homie. There is no mercy on the battle. Stay composed. Uh -huh. I was right, the buffer. I will crush you. I will end this. I blast this guy out the way. So it falls to me. He does not have the juice. I won't lose. Kind of fucked off, so I'm just gonna stop him here. Yo, that's damage. Now I just close the trap on them.
I can't let the magic caster live. He needs to die. Now I am. General of Laura, the second regiment has arrived. Forward. Leave no trace. Okay, I'll not up their numbers. Now it's my turn. What a pain. I shall do what I can. Go swift. This is. Here I come. me if you dare and she is active word impossible Ooh. time to take action ha! time to work quit the fan quit the booty i shall try my level best Oh, those guys are up. <clears throat> I'm trying to turn order a little bit. Respite. Our victory is assured. From where shall we strike? On your guard. And he got attacked. Oh, okay. Out! Let me show you what I've learned. You are a worthy foe, Warfort, but your fortune ends here. My turn. Stab the hell out of these dudes and then pull it back. My last strike's true. Flee while you have the chance. Oh, I'll flee, all right. Bit of a bind, this. are turning this battle is ours not another step let me heal your wounds This is 
what I do. Much appreciated. Time to work. Into the shadows. I'll take it from here. Forward. Now we draw back. <clears throat> Now then, to work. It'll work out. I won't <laughs> lose. Now it's my turn. while the iron's hot. Time to take flight. Try this. Cool heads shall prevail. Fire cobs. Forward. I need I'm gonna drug myself. I shall try my level best. Let Much us reverse our fortunes. I will end this. For the good of all. I won't lose. So, it falls to me. My turn. I've Ready got for a few more. tricks up my sleeves. Face me if you dare. Whatever it oh. takes. There she is. <clears throat> Take her out, then that's I something. Do what I can. I 
victory goes to the queen. I can do it. Defeat is not an option. Chip a wacky now, bitch. Few have ever wounded me, and fewer still live to tell of it. You have courage, I'll give you that. <laughs> but this is as far as that will take you. Bring it off. <clears throat> ice arrow and ice Perfect wall. Three. When did they... Why did they think that was a good idea? Wait. Okay, okay. That's a big help. Let us pry out their weakness. Hold on, how much is she? She's at 350? Oh wow, that's actually will hurt her. Stay right there. I'll slow her down too. Where was I? Yeah, three quietest points. Her turn is next. This opportunity. Skip your turn, bitch. I put the rogue there is going to be an uber danger. Did he want a spellcaster? No, they don't. The poison on this chick. He's blind. melted shoot and they come though got a block for the casters can't let the casters get hit Can be under a lot of damage and tank just gonna fortify this should do it whatever it takes I want to The hunt is on. I'll take out this extra guy. Let me heal your wounds. This dude, <clears throat> see if he can go quicker than Avlora. Sarah to her. 
And where shall we strike? Oh. Me. Okay. Gotta put himself in the danger zone. Death from above. <sighs> I just gotta focus on me only. Yeah, I've got a bunch of us to go all the way through. Avlora, you murderous bastard! You'll pay for what you've done! You will share the same fate as your master! Do they have the upper hand? Damn it all. Oh, what a KO! Time Fuck me. For some research. Unless we nuke the shit out of her. Fucking nuke her. I shall try my level best. Now preparation is key. Block her, damn it. Forward. A new critical blow. She put a string in here. Maybe next time. Miss bitch. This is my chance. Oh, barely any damage. Oh, fuck your sink attack. Hey, uh... I can still stand. Suck grenade, bitch. Yeah. I will end this. Yes, please let it end it. Bam, Go. suck it down. Have we no choice but to retreat? Master, we prevailed. Suck it, bitch. Now nah, that trouble's out the way. How's the bar will sacrifice but it's okay. Strike while the iron's hot. Overhead here. Enough! Right on target. My stratagem is superior. My knowledge grows deeper. Nice. Time to take flight. Not another step. Freeze, bitch. Woo! We did it to you. I shall do what I can. That bitch is done. He the major load. Oh, I get a simple target to be fine. Who? A wasted effort. Mist. There is no mercy on the. Think when they have no more magic caster. Beef up. Much appreciated. Man, he won his butt. Defeat is not an option. Clean. Now I am. Ha ha. Steady now. Just take some drugs and it'll be K. I will end this. Triple by a like we can win this. 
Ablaze. Because the fire attack on a flammable square will set ablaze. Though their extension is rule, squares that are ablaze do fire on enemies that pass through them or in a turn while standing on them. Oh. A rain on ice attacks. There are exceptions. Okay. Burn, bitch! Victory is within our grasp! How? Oh. Time to take flight. Oh, the crypto! No crypt! Stop sort of mute. Hmm. Oh, they took that loot. How dare you? Crack lag, buy him. Take the numbers. Hello, me. I, uh. Back at you. Encounter. You can only count on one each me. each reaction. He only has one reaction to use on encounter. Okay. Oh, attack of opportunity, nice. Shall we begin? We're thinking about whatever the hell it is. You have my gratitude. Your orders. Cop this loose cheeks. Let us pry out their weakness. Impossible. But where shall we strike? Behind well, me is Harry. important. Lock off Time any some research. bullshit that can happen. Mm. Eat the drug. Is I put him with fire. Oof. I didn't get a kill. I mean, that works too. You've left yourself open. Pursuit stats. Uh, they got both, both pushing the fire. Ouch. I, I require healing. What's up on that one? Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Let us pry out their weakness. It is really going to be strange. Let me heal your wounds. Shall we strike? Leave. I will end this. Blame, heed my call. Kaboom. Now then, to work. 
I see through you. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so that suffering was worth it. First try. Suck my dick, Avalara. Suck it. Uh. Oh, fuck me. As Lord, and I have to sacrifice my land at all. Ugh. They are strong. This is more than simply the advantage of terrain. That's right. Retreat! All companies fall back at once! Well, for today, is not all talk. Be it. Uh, throw it down. <laughs> throw it down, cuz. And, and we didn't even need that damn contraption. Indeed. I am thankful we kept any damage to the town at a minimum. You have my gratitude. All of you. Ugh. Though both sides suffer great losses on the battlefield, in the end, it is House Wolfhorn <laughs> that triumphs. The vanquished general of Vlora is forced to retreat to Castle Whiteholm with the Esfrosty army in tow. The Archduke is not going to be happy. I have no words to excuse my failure, Your Grace. I underestimated the Woolfort army. It will not happen again. Indeed, it will not. I will accept no apology for your incompetence, save victory. The Wolforts may have gotten the better of us this time, but it came at a cost. We must strike again before they can regroup. Rest yourself, of Laura. I will have need of you yet, and soon. I shall not disappoint you again, Your Grace. You have my word. And you will keep it. Nothing and no one will stand in my way. Well, hello, nurse. Is that like a dragon shaman chick? Yeehaw! The sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer, my fields are apt to wither from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. Damn, dude. Die. And it ain't just the crops what are worse for wear. I'd cry over our lot, but not but dust would pour from my eyes. How pitiless the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy, then I shall. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold, as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. Is she a kook? Huh? What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bull. You must tell me if you do. We're in sore need of a miracle. A pleasure is always to see you, my lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Hey, hey, her art, her art is the Anonichan. Hello, nurse. All right. Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. Oh. 
magic. Ain't gotta explain shit. Magic Slap bitch. Slap my ass like I was just born. Rain. Honest to goodness, rain. Slap my ass like I was just born. Damn. <laughs> How did... I, I've never witnessed a miracle like this. Zana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my deepest gratitude. There is no need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. If it is not too bold of me to ask, do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. We would welcome you with open arms, and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless, we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later. Weather with the weather at her whim. Excels a wind and lightning magic. Mm -hmm. Another magic is not a bad idea because we do have the ice and fire combo going and the water would be wet and then you just shock a Zulu them. We haven't had that happen yet. Would that be a better choice than Hasabara? Hmm. Then there's the other magic caster. And Eris, that frosty merchant, attempts to charm the local into buying his wares. Yes, the guy my camp. How fortunate this humble merchant is to look upon such beauty. Nothing would do Lionel greater honor than to see his powders and perfumes adorn your divine visages. Such honor, in fact, that he is willing to part with him for practically nothing at all. We haven't even coined for salt, let alone vanity. Huh. Mine's are not but your ledgers. You peddlers disgust me. Damn. Well met, brave protectors of the realm. Lionel has brought everything a hero needs and more. Every item has undergone meticulous testing to ensure that they will serve you well on the battlefield. They have lava running out of the city? Oh shit. Out of our way, junkmonger. We've important duties to attend to. How rude. Where are the smiles and open coin purses the people used to greet Lionel with? Well, perhaps Lionel should take his goods elsewhere. War has made this place disagreeable. However... I feel like this is meant for spirit the animal. perfect opportunity for the shrewd trader to amass his fortune. And Lionel is shrewd, if nothing else. Mecco is shrewd. Hmm, hunker, hmm. My lord, that merchant who peddles his wares in our encampment has requested an audience. Uh, yes, let him come forth. You do Lionel a great honor, my lord. A great honor. That he can count House Wolfort among his loyal patrons has ever been a source of pride. Yes, right. What brings you before me today? As my lord is doubtless already aware, war places a heavy burden on the treasury. A burden that only grows heavier as time drags on. However, a skilled negotiator can see his coffers even fuller at war's end hmm. than they were at its beginning. If he may be so bold, Lionel would offer his services in that very capacity. Uh. He understands your precarious position, trapped between two ravenous wolves. In such times, one can never have enough coin and resources to stave off what may come. Surely you agree? Your words have merit, and you have always been honest in your dealings with my house. I see no reason not to welcome you into our ranks. Splendid! You are as wise as they say. 
wiser even. Ionel shall not disappoint. Just the opposite, in fact. From this day until his very last, he shall stake his honor on the prosperity of your house. And if his own coin purse should grow fat in the process, who could blame him? He's literally the greed. This man is literally the greed. And he can fight too? What? Huh. Yo, Hope Sus Angel, it's been a while, my friend. How you been, brother? What is up? What it do? Got me in my last, last hour of the storm. It's happening. What have you been jamming on? Hopefully your new year was good and your holidays and all that stuff. Tidings of the House of Fourth Triumph against all odds. And it's around the Prince Roland coming the wings of a bird. Yep. Oh, dude, we get to see the reaction of what all the noble houses are like. And then the other faction thinks. I've been. Oh, man. Oh, got to stretch. Getting old. Er, I have my birthday pass around December 23rd. I've been doing all right, decent, just been working hard, maintaining the family, upkeeping all my friendships and all that stuff, you know, those works, the grind, the state of life, along with trying to keep up as much games as I can, I'm like, oh man, uh, I don't know if I told you I got a PS5, dude, I beat God of Ragnarok, I'm like, sure, I can't wait for like, more games, the like, Game Awards, by the way, was intense stuff, that was, that was some funny shit. But this year's gonna be a lot of games. I'm gonna go to have my Final Fantasy as well too. We had the Abyssal tier like two weeks ago, I think. Could have been sooner. And I've just been doing like ultimate rating on the side. But what what is up with you, man? What you doing, man? It's been forever, man. And I'm also enjoying this game right now too. It's the first time playing it, and uh, my brother Mecha, okay, he's he's looking about. He gave this game to me, and it's great. I love intrigue, especially some political intrigue to an extent. Oh crap, there was a story that I missed. No! Oh, it's good. To be quite frank, I underestimated House Wolford's strength. To think they were capable of driving off the S Frosty army forces like that. <laughs> I suspect the outcome came as a surprise to the Archduke as well. And yet, oh, yeah. something tells me Wolfwart's victory is more than a fluke. Well, yeah, pure my baby, like Lord of the Rings. Let's go. I shall keep that in mind. Still, this development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. Oh shit! Just so, Your Excellency, everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Uh oh. Yes, <clears throat> we shall have our way. It is but a matter of time. I applied so much buffage as I could. Man, but our Lord just does so much damage. An old man, single man survived the battle at the Citadel of the Saturns. But who is he? Hey, who is he? <sighs> Thank you. What game caught your eye for this year? Also, besides like from being a gamer, also being a weeb, lots of anime. I've been watching a lot of anime, especially with, with my lady. It's been a great time. Hello, anime you be watching. Oh. Got you right in my sights. What? I'll say, what? Sword of 76? He's about to shoot something? Nani. Oh, 30 years ago during the Salt Iron War outside the Citadel of the Sands. Yo, he's a veteran. Veteran Archer? Fly. Did he used to fight for Heizen? There are too many of the Minister Archibald. Mr. Archibald. He was a minister. I'll hold him here, but you lock. Retreat. Mm. 
Minister Archibald. Shit. No, this cannot be how it ends. Once I draw breath, my heart yet beats. This place shall not be my grave. Did he like do a rain of arrows on everybody or something? He just shot straight up into the sky. So the cycle of war and chaos begins anew. Once again, I must take up my bow. Bro, who is he? I only watched the first season of Castlevania. I don't have Netflix anymore, so I've just been watching other stuff. I heard it was like two, three seasons out for Castlevania now. Did a pretty good job on it. What about games, though, man? I've been watching you fight from afar. I like what I see. Almost reminds me of myself in my younger days. You flatter me. Still, I doubt you'll emerge victorious. Without me on your side, that is. Oh, this guy. Archibald. Allow me into your ranks. You'll see. I can match men half my age, shot for shot. I couldn't ask one so elderly to risk his life in battle. This graybeard survived his salt iron war with not but the bow in his back, I'll have you know. And my aim is just as sharp now as it was then. I haven't many years left, lad, and I'd like to spend them fighting for a just cause. Ho oh, ho. Admirable, horrible. If that is what you wish, then I shall not refuse. We welcome your bow. <clears throat> huh. A legendary and intimidating archer. Deals more damage to distant targets. His bow boasts increased range. <laughs> I think I, uh, I, I need him on the team. <laughs> That's such a commodity. Like, my God. Oh, my God. Let me say real quick. Yeah, what what have you been jamming on lately, though, Obsess Angel? What would you jamming on? No video game, or you just chilling off of it? I know some folks taking a break from the game for a bit. It's understandable. There's just so much stuff happening. All right, House Tellior. House War for Triumph. Yeah, yes, you coward. Lord. The Archduke's army has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it would seem the Wolf Fort army suffered significant casualties. Did it now? Came on an Xbox? Anything you're looking forward to? You got a motorcycle? I remember you thought you, got, you did get a motorcycle. It is not as if I entirely failed to oh. consider the possibility of an Esfrasi defeat. Of course they got defeated. How's their family though? Hopefully they did good. And yet... It is hardly an ideal development. Whatever are we to do now? You know, I never thought it'd be except for a hair part again, but this type of hair part again, I was like, wow, that actually looks good. Wolfwood may have won the battle, but can they win the war? Bruh, just join the fight already. Hmm. Otherwise, you'll look like a coward, a heretic. Traitor. My lord. Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command. Are you gonna actually do something right or are you gonna turn coat? This guy. And I appreciate everyone here who came through the stream and lurking. Those that followed. Love your faces. Yeah, bro love. Alright, let's see what House Fox has to say. I bring good news, my lord. Esfrost army marched on Castle Walford in an attempt to seize the prince. Your son is almost saying, whoo, time flies, right? Time flies. But they were roundly defeated by House Walford's forces and retreat to the Crown City as we speak. Joyous tidings indeed. I knew the Wolferts wouldn't let us down. I'm also pleased to report that Prince Roland is unscathed. 
Uh, it would seem young Sarah Noah is more than capable of carrying on Lord Simon's legacy. <laughs> Triumph as they did, they still suffered considerable casualties in the battle. It is more than likely that Esfrost is already preparing for a second attack. Very well. Take stock of our own forces and determine how many men we can send to House Wolfert's aid while retaining enough for our own protection. Yes, my lord. It's time to take a stand. If the three high houses come together as one, I am certain we will prevail. I'm driven back to ask Frosty Arm and Sarah and his companions now search for a way to ensure the survival. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, I need to buy the soundtrack for this game. I love it. Ay -ay -ay. I can see to the wounded. I will help as well. My heart can assist with clearing the rubble. I only lost like one person. My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them, if at all. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzant. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety. And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Fox to act in our best interests. You want kind of want skull and bones, but you're on the fence about it. The debate was eh. If you're like, if you're like the other beta, bro, like skull and bones look too, too promising, right? With the concept. To be honest, some kids who do that, they suffer the Icarus effect and they just burn and die. And I'd rather not get it if I were you, bro. You would not, unless you're okay with like just playing the early access beta game and it's like, yeah, that's bare bones. We must prepare ourselves. For every contingency you are right as always benedict we've taken the first step down our chosen path but there is no telling what awaits us that's the crazy thing about some games nowadays early access beta winner and just do you have a moment your highness oh it's you as silly as it may sound, I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? Oh, dude. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's Ubisoft, dude. Like, I haven't played an Ubisoft game in years, man. Like, I gave up on Ubisoft just like how I gave up on EA. Like... They just started getting ridiculous what they were doing to their games or future games and their ideology behind it's like and the, the business moves behind it as well it's just like this is disgusting as you know i bailed out from blizzard i bailed out from ea i bailed out from ubisoft now it's just like you know <laughs> you need not worry about that roland Lord Wolfort speaks true. The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. We protected you. <laughs> I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. 
and I can scarcely take care of myself. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake, and for yours. Not a word, my friend. Completed. Oh, yeah. Like, I think the only games that I'm willing to try from a publisher or a company or whatever that like that I dissed away has been is probably EA because they're doing a remake of Dead Space One. And I love that game, and then they're making their own version of Monster Hearts, uh, Monster Hearts Monster Hunter, which is Wild Hearts Home. You know, on the fence, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So I'm playing games from like Bandai Namco and House from software and Square Enix. Prevails against General Avlora's army and drives them out of Glenbrook. Though victorious, Roland sobs quietly, saddened by the sacrifices made in his name. Glenbrook is powerless, but knows they must keep the royal bloodline alive. Thus, the conspiracies and power struggles around the noble blood in Roland's veins continue to stain the land crimson. Yo, how's that one gonna wanna kill off the, um... I can't remember the goddamn Roselin, the Roselins. That's hella people I gotta talk to, goddamn! Lord Serenoa never ceases to amaze me. Despite all the hours he dedicates to his duties, he looks none the worse for wear. Oh yeah, even Bethesda, like, I don't try to do my channel yet, I still want to play it, but like, once once I find out what really happened to godlike Mick Gordon, the guy who made the music, it's like, oh, wow, Bethesda's a toxic client? Shit. I just look at Todd Howard, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> whatever, memory. Nuts, dude. Microsoft is like suing because they want to own Activision Blizzard, so that's the thing. Even so, I am certain it takes its toll on him. He wants to set an example for his people and those who serve him, and wishes not to worry them over his condition. Excuse me, Saranoa, but is there anything I could do to help? Ah, Frederica, my apologies for the delay. The citizen's petition will require a bit more time, so why don't you and Gila return home ahead of me? I see. If you insist. But please do not push yourself too hard, Saranoa. I shan't. Thank you, Frederica. Of course. Is something the matter? It's rare of you to sign like that. Did I? Oh my. It looks like something's troubling you. If you wish to talk about it, I am happy to lend an ear. Well, to be perfectly honest, I sometimes wonder if I can go on like this. Are things not going well with Lord Saranoa? No! Saranoa is as kind and gentle as ever. It is my own self I have doubts about. I cannot help but wonder if I am truly of any use to him. Since Lord Serenoa is always working so hard, why not give him a tonic to boost his vitality? I purchased one from a merchant not long ago. It should chase all his fatigue away. A good idea to be sure. But the fact remains, it is not me myself that is serving him. Then how about preparing a meal for him? Something nutritious to fill him with vim and vigor. Me? Cook? Oh no, this is an anime situation. Or I'm about to get poisoned. Shit. Yeah, how it is when when heroines say shit like this, 
you know you're gonna have a bad time you know you're gonna have to fight a poo demon and all that jazz Shit. yes i'm certain he would be delighted by anything that you make but i've never cooked before i doubt anything i make would suffice you won't know until you try besides what matters isn't the result but the feeling behind it Use this cookbook. I'm sure you will find a recipe or two to your liking. Thank you, Gila. Now then, which of these would Saranoa enjoy? Okay. Looking worse for wear, Anna. Long scouting missions sure ain't easy. Easy or not, I do what duty demands. Do you need something? No. Just reckon Benedict must be relieved you're back safe and sound. Must he? Of course. After all, he treats you like his own daughter. Don't know any parent what wouldn't worry over their child. And he's got extra cause to fret with all the dangerous work he gives you. Oh? It never crossed my mind. Benedict trusts me. That's all I've ever needed. That's so. Do all parents by blood show concern for their children? Wondering about yours, are you? That's none of your concern. I still remember how you insisted on being a scout. Soon as you were old enough, you wouldn't say why, but any fool could guess it was to find out more regarding your parents. This works well suited to that sort of thing. Yet Benedict refused me. And he was wise to do so. It ain't a job for an amateur. Guess he hadn't anticipated you'd trained under Archibald. I earned his respect when he saw what I could do. The means don't matter, only the results. Archibald, that's the guy I just recruited. Okay. A few years ago. Whoa. Backstory. I have grave news, sir. The enemy has captured one of our scouts. I know our soldiers aren't broken easily, but given enough time in the enemy's hands. And here we are, severely shorthanded. I shall call a war council so our approach may be reconsidered. Oh, teleport. The scout has been rescued and returned safely home. Already, that was far sooner than I anticipated. I hope my actions were not out of line. No, no. Well done, Anna. I don't know where I'd be without you. Nor are you. Hmm. Can't thank you enough for leaping to my scout's rescue. While Benedict was still pondering what to do. I'd pay good coin just to see that look on his face again. Hmm. So, think you'll find your parents? Not trying to dissuade you from looking, mind. I'm only being nosy. Dissuade? Is there something you've not told me? What would I know that you don't? Just take care you don't end up regretting it. I'm this close. I can feel it. It's a story stream now, guys. <laughs> Damn. A 
whole day of hunting, and this is all I have to show for it. Wanted to give Lord Sarah Noah something meaty for once. A deer is no easy prey. You are a skilled hunter. One deer to your three boar? <laughs> it's plain who the better of us is. I don't reckon you let a single one escape. Could be hunting is your true calling. Perhaps. Before I was knighted, I was keeper of the hawk's roost. And besides, I come from a long line of hunters. That's so. And what drove you to fight men for a living? Lenbrook put out a call for hawk riders. That they might challenge S. Frost's aerial superiority. I answered that call. My training was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. But I won a position in the Kingsguard, where I petitioned to serve Prince Roland personally. Seeing you in action, I'm sure you could have made a fine commander. Yet you stuck by the prince's side. Yes, I did. Years ago, hmm. Flugi has yet to return. I hope he isn't in danger. What's this then? A traveler out here all alone, huh? And in sore need of protection by my reckoning. Hand over your coin purse and maybe we can reach an arrangement. Bandits? Here? How could I be so careless? I'd advise against running. Ain't nowhere for you to go. <sighs> Enough! Ugh. Are you hurt? I'm fine, thanks to you. Had you not showed up when you did, I could have ended up dead. You have my gratitude. Is that your hawk? He guided me here. I was in the middle of a hunt, but your bird cried out as if calling to me. Thank heavens I did not lose that arrow. I've never known hawks could be so wise. His name is Flugi, and he's more than my hawk. He's my closest companion. The bandits are growing more bold by the day. It is best you returned home. Wait! I have scarce little to give in the way of coin, but still, there must be something I can do to repay you. Think nothing of it. It is the royal family's duty to protect our subjects. The royal... good heavens! You're Prince Roland! Forgive me, your highness. There's no need for all that stuffy formality. May we meet again soon? Yes, your highness. That was my first meeting with the prince. He saved my life, and for that, I shall be forever in his debt. I could settle for no less than the king's guard. Having certain people in your party, like I have Laura, like in a fantasy setting, but you have a certain person, a certain word, a space city considered a nuclear weapon and having certain party members that that's uber powerful they would be that nuclear weapon greetings were you training outside not today even i stay away from the proving grounds on occasion the members of the king's guard must keep themselves in prime fighting shape that includes resting when our bodies are weary. Hmm, a wise policy. The handmaidens of Esfros adhere to a similar principle. With clear eyes, we see, we serve, we anticipate. Interesting. Although our tools are different, we're alike in our aims. Indeed. We must be the pillars our charges turn to in times of need. Even so. We are only human. If I may ask in confidence, do you ever find it... trying to serve Prince Roland? Is he ever unreasonable? Have you ever found your patience tested? No, never. 
It is an honor to serve, always. It is an odd question to ask. But I must confess I find it hard to imagine what it is like to serve in a society such as us, Frosts. As do I, although I lived through it. It all feels as if it were so long ago. You're not one for speaking plain, are you? But I suspect we may have much in common. I'm curious to hear your story, if you are willing to share it. Of course. I made a promise to myself long ago to effect change through my own deeds, not to live as a mere servant. And what came of that promise? Hailing from Hyzant, at first I endeavored to learn at the Ministry that I might use the knowledge gained there to help others. But they guard their secrets fiercely and maintain strict control over what fields their students can pursue. As much as it pained me to leave my home, I could not suffer such stifling rules, and so set forth to Esrost. I took quickly to learning at the Archives, where independent study is encouraged. I spent days in the stacks, soaking up as much knowledge as I could, when one day... You are the one called Gila, yes? Svarog. Oh, hey, that dude's dead. Yes, my lord. They tell me you're the most talented researcher the Archives have ever seen. I couldn't say that, my lord. Though, I do spend more time here than most anyone else. Admirable modesty. And you aren't frightened of me. Most impressive. I believe we have a suitable role for you. Come with me. The Archduke would have a word. The Archduke? But... No harm will come to you, if that is your fear. Now, follow me. Lord Zvarog had arranged an audience with the former Archduke of Esfrost, who appointed me as Frederica's personal tutor. She was the former Archduke's daughter, so I took my duty seriously. Yet I could never shake the feeling that I had betrayed my ideals. Perhaps I justified it by telling myself that my teachings could plant the seed for change. An indirect approach, but an active one nonetheless. The chance was unexpected, to be sure, but I could not very well deny it. The Archduke's successor, Gustadov, was a man that paid no heed to birth or blood. He affected a change in people's attitudes, a change which provided fertile ground in which my teachings could take root. Thus, I stayed by Frederica's side. Truth be told, I had not thought to be with her for this long, and yet here I am. Life is truly a journey of unforeseen destinations. Working hard again today, I see. How fares the research? It progresses, and shall continue to do so, provided you remain out of my way. <laughs> Never one to mince words, are you? What is it you're researching exactly? Your questioning remains distressingly inefficient. As I explained just yesterday, I'm exploring something truly groundbreaking. And I'm asking you precisely how and why it's groundbreaking. That would entail a thorough explanation of surface melting on ice crystals, one even you could understand. From there, I would have to explain how the quasi-liquid film on said crystal can then be thermodynamically stabilized. All right, all right, you win. I'm sorry I asked. But I can tell by your attitude all this work isn't good for you. You should join me for a swig of wine. I'd rather not. Then why not? Research has shown that wine inhibits the brain's higher functions. Fewer words, more wine. A glass might shake a brilliant new idea out of that massive head of yours. <laughs> Erdo's like, I'm not taking it for an answer. But my precious research. My research, my cabbages. He got hammered. All I 
my desire is to carry out my research on him. On him. Without interruption. Are you listening, Eridor? My research on my terms. Why can they not grant me this one thing? Yeah, well. This cannot stand, Eridor. You hold me out here. Yet you haven't so much as drank, haven't touched your glass. Oh. So you're an angry drunkard, are you? Lovely. Me? A drunkard? <laughs> Balder. For Balder Dash. Foster spilled it. It's the damn ministry. All their restrictions and secrecy. How are we to pro <gasps> move forward if we can't share our techniques? Am I wrong? You're damned right. As always, of course, about everything. Sin on all that knowledge and skills is... It's not good. Worse than me locking my s myself up here. <laughs> uh... K.O. Glorious silence. Thought the poor fool would never shut up. Right then. Off to bed with you. the good stuff ain't no one can pour a pint like you i take coin for drink not compliments it's hard enough to keep this place running on my own as it is need me to lend a hand thought you'd never ask you can start by washing the dishes then restocking our foodstuffs fixing up that wobbly table and uh, i uh, leave it to me <laughs> i'm only playing I'd never put a paying customer to labor. But that's an awful lot of work for any one person. Ever give thought to finding someone with whom you might share the burden? You can stop right there. The last thing I need is anyone else complicating my life. Sounds like you're speaking from experience. I had myself a someone once, you know? Special-like. Till he left me for a special-er someone. Oh. Raised my son Theo all by myself after that. He'd be a man grown now, if the war hadn't taken him. Uh, forgive me, Hasabara. Didn't mean to go drudging up painful memories. No need for apologies. I don't know anyone who doesn't have a thing or two in their past that haunts them. In truth, I'm more exhausted than anything. Must be the years taking their toll. Ain't got nothing to do with age. And everything to do with the hardships you've overcome. <laughs> More impressive than an old soldier drowning his sorrows in mead. <laughs> what kind of barkeep am I? Letting my poor patron wallow. Well, sometimes wallowing's good for the soul. Come on, have a round with me. My treat. Took you long enough to make the offer. Now, what shall we toast to? Hmm. How about to your son? I, to Theo. Please, you can't take our wheat. We just sent food the other day. Silence. Lord Walford has ordered the requisition of all provisions. You wouldn't dare disobey your lord, would you? I feel like she's lying. Of course not. I... I just can't believe Lord Walford would command such a thing. Are you accusing me, a noble woman of Glenbrook, of lying? <laughs> How dare you, peasant. Mayhap we should see what the commotion is about. Corruption. Mind telling us what's going on? Well, if it isn't Captain Eridor, thank you for all that you do to keep these lands safe. You're one of the lot what recently fled from the Crown City, ain't you? 
Just so, yes. I came to humbly lend what aid I could to Lord Wolfford and deliver on the provisions I promised. What is your quarrel with these people? If you could explain the situation, we'd be more than happy to lend what aid we can. Please, I beg of you, don't take our food. It's all we have. I've always known Lord Wolfort to care for his people above all. Why would he do this to us? What madness is this? Lord Serenoa has strictly forbidden commandeering food from the common folk. Surely you aren't asking these good people to relinquish their stores to you in his name. I am simply gathering provisions on Lord Walford's behalf, as I promised. Honestly, he should be grateful. Grateful? <laughs> He'd be red in the face if he saw what you were doing. Ain't no way he ordered it. On the contrary, you are acting in violation of your Lord's decree. You cannot overlook your actions. You will come with us and be jailed. There, you will await judgment for your crimes. What nonsense is this? I am a noblewoman of Glenbrook. How dare you try to order me about, you self-important little man? You've no authority over me! Look, I ain't disagreeing, but are you sure we should accost her without seeking Lord Serenoa's counsel first? We haven't that luxury. The longer she is allowed to roam free, the more the people will suffer, and our Lord's good name be sullied. We must show the people that unethical acts will not go unpunished. Take her away. You will pay for your impudence! Can't believe there are scoundrels out here using House Wolfort's name for ill gain. You've done us all proud today, Yulio. Thank you ever so much, my lord. We'd be facing starvation if you hadn't stepped in. She really had us fooled. We should have known Lord Walford is too kind a man to order anything like that. If you are ever troubled again, please seek me out. I shall ensure that any wrongs committed against you are set right. All right, we got two more story things, but I'm gonna call it there. That's GG. That's offensive to GG. Came back, stopped the heck out of Avalora. Did a lot of story. My God. We did it, folk. We did it. We did it, team. Super turtling was the way. It is the way, my brothers. I grinded, I farmed, I suffered, I. Agent Gaming, brother. Agent Gaming. And shout out to my brother Mecca for giving me the game again. It's good. There's always a way. Ah, all right. I don't think there's anyone to really raid a host, so I'm just going to call there. See you guys tomorrow. Much love. Much bro love. Uh, there's thankfully no raiding tomorrow, so I'm just going to do probably more triangle strategy or something else. We'll see. I'll probably try to make it a bro day, maybe. I don't know. Peace out, everybody. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Off to work I go.